city of the motherfuckers. K I N S T O N. Sucks! This city sucks. This city sucks. Fuck this city sucks. Fuck this city sucks. Fuck this city sucks. Fuck this city sucks. Kiss the North Carolina sucks. Let's take a tour to how sorry this shitty city is. You see this shit? For rent. You see this shit? <gasps> you see this shit? In spite of the progress that those two fucking millionaires, Stephen and Tyler Hill, have done to renovate that one tiny dark ass corner of the city of Kinston. Literally next door to the fucking The Hood ghetto. Why the fuck do we gotta have so many goddamn for sale signs or for rent signs? What in the goddamn fuck? Hey! Is everybody so eager to leave this motherfucking city? Why in the fuck can't this city keep its young people? In spite of the factory job at Sanderson Farms, which, by the way, fucks over its employees, and chicken prices here are just as high as is there was not a chicken farm, chicken processing plant here. We are now on Cary Road. You see this shit? <gasps> you see this shit? For fucking sale. It's been three motherfucking years and they still haven't cleaned this goddamn shit up where the winds blew this goddamn tree down approximately three years ago. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! For sale! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a cotton picking motherfucking goddamn minute! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! That's three goddamn cell signs right now! Okay, here's Will O' Wisp of Arms. You see this shit? <gasps> you see this shit? Now listen, but look, look how moldy and mildy that fucking and such an eyesore. Who, who, who the fuck is gonna want again? Gonna want a rent or an apartment here if their loud leasing sign looks like cut like this, like it's been up here since the goddamn Stone Age. Here is the Spring Arbor. The Spring Arbor. Now what the fuck is this? This right here is the goddamn old folks home. Where people with one foot in the fucking grave come to eke out the rest of their years of misery. Until they're ready to plant both feet in the fucking grave. And grow six feet under. Yeah, a goddamn old folks home. But... Uh, the people in the city, a retirement city, a city full of welfare mamas. You see, Will O' Wisp had such a goddamn problem with people who didn't live here coming here to hang out and smoke the goddamn dope and play the goddamn music. They put this: loitering is strictly prohibited on this Willow's property. No loud music. This sign was not here. A year or so ago. You see this shit? <gasps> you see this shit? And keep in mind, we have not gone even one goddamn mile down fucking Cary Road. You see this shit? <gasps> you see this shit? Look at it. And keep in mind, Cary Road is on the good side of town. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. One. Two goddamn houses for sale. On this side road from Cary. And what's the name of the street? Brookhaven. 
And once again, I'll tell you, this is the good side of the city. We are miles away from the fucking hood. This shit. <gasps> you see this shit? <laughs> For sale. Now keep in mind, we have not even been about, about one and a half miles from my house at 22 uh, Tanglewood Drive to that. First for sale sign and then and then duplexes on Roush Road and then after that the plethora of for sale signs like this goddamn sign right here. Less than a mile and a half on down just Carry Road. Hey, and that's just Carry Road. No matter how no telling how many fucking for sale signs on the other roads. My dad swore he would never use their services again. Because in 2003, we had them become removed three trees from our front yard. And the yard, the yard is, is still fucked up today. Huge! It's a bitch to mow the lawn where they cut down the trees because that's huge mound of dirt around where the tree was. And on top of that, one of them, they, they couldn't even keep from fucking up one of their own employees when they were cutting down part of a tree he got busted in the head all bloody and fuck and fucked up almost almost worse than they fucked up our yard man three goddamn churches in one fucking block and this city still does not listen to the Bible when it says if a man should not work, he should not eat. When half of this city's residents are drawing a check, not a paycheck, mind you, but a government check, a welfare check, a fucking disability check. That's a prime property for sale. You see this shit? This used to be a goddamn Allstate insurance company. It ain't shit now. This right here used to be a car service station, inspection station, gas station stood right there. Until it went out of business, the building fell into fucking disrepair, was condemned, and finally torn down. You know the Perrys are pissed about that. They're trying to sell this fucking land because it's, it's a liability, costing tax money. Hey, I got an idea. Just let a church open up here. Use it as a tax write-off. Everybody else is doing it, it, it in this fucking city of Kenton. There are so many goddamn churches where businesses should be because people are desperate to get a tax write-off in a city where energy prices are rising, electric Bills are getting higher. Gas prices are higher than in the, in, the, in, the, in the neighboring cities. Water bills. The fucking water bills are getting high here. People are starting to bitch about the water bills. You be water bills weren't shit. Now water bills are starting to eat into the people's pockets. I ain't mean, goddamn.